Hi, this is Philip with AuthenticImaging.com and um, I'm here to show you a quick um, overview of how to utilize the content management uh, on the back end of your site to edit <coughs> pages and um, also update your blog. Um, when you log into your back end, you're going to see there's a black banner on the very top of your page. Uh, and basically what that is, that's, you know, um, giving you all the necessary tools to edit <coughs> um, your site. Um, so for each page, the easy approach for each page is to just um, launch your page and whatever page you want to edit, you know, if you want to edit this page, which is uh, about Dr. Nick Sam's you know you click on the edit page it takes you to the back end to edit <clears throat> but let me go over the back end dashboard too real quick so when you log into the back end <clears throat> this is what you see okay it has all the menu on the left hand side um, and um, mostly where you're gonna be going to edit is you know your pages you know the posts and then also approving comments if someone comments on your uh, blog post <clears throat> okay so real quick if you click on pages shows you all your pages that you have and you can edit your page from here or simply go to your website and say if you want to go and edit contact us you click contact us page you click on the edit page and it brings you to the edit page content management um, and I'll go I'll go over real quick here what <coughs> all this is so uh, the first thing you see here is the page title okay it shows you your URL um, it gives you the option to edit and view um, by default we have a layout builder called Avia and this is intended to make your make your um, page easy to edit okay so we'll try and go back and forth and see how things are so it shows layout elements and then content elements if you click on content elements it shows a whole bunch of uh, I, um, modules you can add to your page without having you go in and do any scripting okay uh, same thing with media elements you know you can add images slideshows and all that so if we scroll down here a bit what we see here is um, the first box if you roll over your mouse you're gonna see that uh, it's all sectioned out into boxes so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, launch the home page to compare how things are. So this contact form in the back end be this right here. Okay, the send as mail, if you click on this, it's gonna be this text right here. So if you come in here and you change this, uh, and save it gives you other options that you don't have to worry yourself about if you don't want to get too technical um, and save the content on the front end is going to change same thing with the contact form if you click on the contact form it gives you all the necessary elements um, to go in here and edit as well okay so as you can see it follows the way it's laid out in the back end so the send us the contact form um, the next thing you see in the contact form is some information you're gonna see some information right here so you can easily edit this so literally everything on the page can be edited so if you take a look at the map in the back here <coughs> It's this right here so when you click on, double click on this 
it gives you an option to edit the map or add more addresses to the map gives you dimension view you can even color the map it gives you quite a handful of stuff but again if you don't want to get too detailed you don't need to bother yourself with that but it's an option for you to edit your page then right below the page is what it's a plugin called SEO Yachts this shows you how uh, Google sees your um, your page and it gives you all the necessary tools to optimize it so if you want to optimize this down the road for SEO for specific keywords you can come in here and edit that and it will, it will render the information to show you how you show up in uh, search engine results okay so after all said and done when you make any changes to a page on all these modules in order to see the changes you have to update the page okay so if you make changes here and after you've saved it and you don't update you won't see the changes okay so the status right now this page is published um, there's the page attributes that you can add and again if you don't want to get too advanced you wouldn't need to bother yourself about this same thing with page layouts and uh, featured images okay so that summarizes how to edit a page